Today I'm showing you how you can make custom splash texts, just like this one right over here. So let's get started. Now the first thing you'll need is the sample pack, which I'm going to link right down in the description, which is where you can download that. And this sample pack right here is going to make it really easy for you to accomplish. And this sample pack is going to make it really, really easy to make your own custom splash texts. Anyways, you're going to see that this is a zip file. You want to right click on that and then select the extract all option. Now, if you that you know depending on the device you're using or your operating system you might not actually have that as an option and if you don't you'll need a third party program for example WinRAR or 7-Zip or one of the two I'll probably link in the description for you anyways you want to click on extract again and as you can see um, that is going to leave us with a folder with the exact same name and now we don't need the zip file anymore so we can just actually go ahead and delete that anyways we can open this up and as you can see this is the custom splash text sample pack and first off we're just going to go ahead and type out what we want these splash texts to be so you want to go into the assets folder minecraft texts and then splashes and as you can see over here um, there is one which is subscribe to ism64 which I'd greatly appreciate it and you know you should obviously do that I recommend leaving this one in here just kidding, you probably don't want to. Anyways, here you can type out all your custom splash decks. So, um, there we are. This is number one. And then say you want to have another one right here. Then you can just hit enter and then uh, just continue. Just like that. And you can just continue typing these out as you go. Um, you can put in as many as you like. I, I believe there isn't a limit. Uh, either way, I haven't found one. Um, all splash texts that you put in here will have the same chance of appearing inside of Minecraft. Um, if you want some of them to have more chance of appearing, then you can just pay, copy and paste them. So as you can see now, there is you know a 20% chance I'll get there's an 80% chance I'll get like and subscribe and there's a 20% chance I'll get this custom splash text one right here. Anyways, once you've written all the splashes that you want, you can hit control and S at the same time and then you can close this up. Now what we're going to do is make sure that we can make this pack ready to actually import into Minecraft for ourselves. Now you can actually come back and edit this later. I've got a separate tutorial on how to, you know, edit packs after you've already made them. I will link that in the description for you guys. Alright, so now we actually need to make sure that this is actually going to be a pack and that Minecraft can use it. So, we're going to open up pack.mcmeta. And now, I kind of forgot to say this earlier, but as you can see, I'm using a text editor called Notepad++. Um, you can basically use any text editor you want. Yeah, basically that. Also, actually, this is a .mc meta file, and you might not be able to open it right away. If you can't, you want to right-click on that, and then select Open With. And as you can see, I can choose my Notepad++ here, um, or any other text editor, of course. Um, or you can just choose another app if you can't find a text editor here. If that still actually doesn't work, then you can rename this, remove the MC meta from the end, and replace it with txt just like that then you get this pop-up but you can click on yes as you can see i can edit it now all how all i'll have to do is just make sure to change it back later anyways just make sure that you can enter as well as edit this file anyways here we can first off find the description thing right here now here you can just basically write a description if you wish to do so this is going to be the standard description because it is something that you should definitely do um and of course if you want go ahead and change this make sure you type in between these quotation marks do keep in mind that this is code so if you accidentally for example delete that comma over there you know completely by accident but um then this entire pack is not going to work so i recommend keeping that right there and now moving on to the pack format so now is when you're going to want to think to yourself hmm what game version am i going to make this pack for right i'm just going to make mine for the latest version currently which i believe is 1.20.2 so you want to go ahead and go over to this official minecraft wiki page um linked down in the description for you guys which as you can see wow pack format i 
think I remember that. Anyways, um, basically here under this releases tab, you'll be able to find all game versions. So let's say you want to make yours for 1.19.3, then there's a number here, 12. That means your pack format is going to be 12. I want to make mine for 1.20.2, which is the latest, you know, complete game version. So I am going to choose 18 here. Say you want to make yours for 1.20 to 1.20.1, 15, etc. Basically, it's as simple as that, so I can change this to 18, and now I know that it'll work for the game version I want it to work for. This same way, you know, when Minecraft updates, this pack is going to stop working. And to make it work again, you'll need to come back, edit this, and maybe change it to 24 by the time that you're watching this video. I didn't know, but basically, that is how that works. Anyways, I've got that right there, so I can just click on Ctrl S to save it. There we go, now I can close it up. Now, I had issues entering this, just like some of you may have had, and that's why I changed the .txt over here. But now, because I did, I it is very important that I change the .txt back to MC Meta, right? If everything worked for you, you wouldn't have had to do this, so you also don't need to change it back. Anyways, I'll once again get this pop-up, I can click on yes, and I'll know I'll have done it correctly if under type over here, it says MC Meta file. Whether you changed it or not, if it says MC Meta file here under type, then you're 100% good to go. Before we import this into Minecraft, there's actually one more optional step you can take, and that is to actually add an icon for your pack. So, I've got my icon right over here, but there's a few things we need to change. First off, I'll just open this up, just use Paint 3D or anything you want really, just something simple, and make sure that your image is square. If your pack icon is not square, it's either going to get cut or stretched inside of Minecraft, and you probably don't want that. So, you know, make sure that it is square first off, then actually as well, um, we need to change what it's called. You see, right now it's called HM64, you know. When you import this into Minecraft, Minecraft doesn't know what HM64 is, right? You do, of course, but, you know, so we need to change it to pack. That was not what I meant to type. There we are. Pack. Great. That's, this needs to be the name of your pack icon, and now we actually need to change the name a second time. As you can see, it is currently JPG file, which is a type of image file, but... Minecraft doesn't actually like those. So we need one thing I need to go to rename and then go to this JPG part over here. Then what you want to do is just remove that from the end and replace it with PNG, which is another type of image file, which Minecraft does like. So that's great. You'll get this pop up and you can click on yes. If you can't actually see this dot PNG over here or the dot jpg or dot webb or jpeg whatever it is you want to head over to view show and make sure that file name extensions is ticked now depending on your de the device you're using um, it might not look exactly like this but either way you want to make sure that you can see file name extensions anyways with the pack icon 2 which is of course optional so if you don't want to add one then you don't have to we're basically done and ready to import this into Minecraft. So you want to select all the files that are here, all 3D or 2, depending on if you have an icon. Right click and then click on compress the zip file. Once again, as we saw in the beginning of this video, you might not be able to do this and you might need a third party program. Anyways, we can click on that right there and now you'll have the zip file and you can name it anything you want. So maybe it's 64 is custom splash text there we are that looks good to me um anyways then I'll, i'm just gonna go ahead and move this right over to my desktop so i know exactly where it is so you want to make sure that you have now launched minecraft and obviously launch the version that you make your pack for anyways as you see i have launched 1.20.2 i can't really see these i'll move these more over here there we go now it's easier for you to see Anyways, you want to head into options over here, resource packs, and then depending on your game's version, you can actually just grab this pack and drag it right in here. Then click on yes, and you're good. Now, if that doesn't work, you actually need to tap 
on open pack folder and then just drag your pack into here. Now a cool thing here, as you see the most of the packs in here are actually made by me. Wow, I actually make a bunch of texture packs. If you want to check them out, I will link that down in the description below. Anyways, we can scroll here and oh look, there it is, H64's custom slash. And here we can find the description, you know, your custom description. Um, this is the one I had. Anyways, you want to click on the arrow there then undone, and now you got your custom splash text. Anyways, now as you can see, we have the custom splash text right here. Now you will actually need to restart Minecraft occasionally if you want this pack to work, you know, after enabling it for the first time. After that, you can just leave it enabled and these splash texts are going to be here. Anyways, that is exactly how you can do that. If you like this video and if it taught you something, if you're going to do this and you appreciate me showing you how to, well, then I'd greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe. Anyways, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.